more plagues will come and increase in the days to come. Mm. The Lord Jesus himself warned us in Matthew chapter 24 verse 7. The last days there will be plagues mm. and those plagues will take place all over the world at the same time as what we are presently seeing. The Lord God says to you, people of the world be forewarned but God tells you five things what you should do to protect yourself. The Bible tells us mm -hmm. we are not appointed unto the wrath of God. No. Who are the we? Those who fear God and who keep the commandments of God. Be so what is the five counsels that the Lord gives us? Mm. Number one, okay. blessed is the person who seeks the Lord God before the wrath of God manifests. Amos chapter 5 verse 4. Oh. This is what I explained earlier. Prepare. During this appointed time of being hidden, seek the Lord, seek Him. The whole family is seeking God and built an altar of God. Secondly, blessed is he who seeks the Lord God who made the heaven and the earth. Now, this second word is directed at all the unbelievers. Mm -hmm. Seek the true living God who made the heavens and the earth, hey. not the God of wood, stones and hay, mm -hmm. not the God who is made with human hands, mm -hmm. but seek Him who made the heavens and the earth. Mm -hmm. If you do, mm -hmm. you will be protected from this wrath. Mm -hmm. Thirdly, blessed are the people who find refuge in the Lord God. Mm -hmm. Deuteronomy chapter 33 verse 7, mm -hmm. Psalms chapter 9 verse 9, mm -hmm. chapter 46 verse 1, ah. Psalms 91 verse 1 says, mm -hmm. He who abides in the shadow of the Almighty God, mm -hmm. he will be protected by the grace. Ah. So we should run into the presence of the Almighty God. Mm -hmm. Seek where he is. Mm -hmm. Where is the place of his refuge? Mm -hmm. Run and hide there. Mm -hmm. It is not in this city or in that city. Yes. Where is it then? In Luke chapter 17 verse 21, the Lord Jesus said, Luke. Kingdom of God is within you. Mm -hmm. First call. 1 Corinthians 3, 16 says, 6, 16 says, You are the temple of God. You are the temple of God. Uh -huh. According to Ephesians chapter 2, verse 20 to 22, you must make way for the glory of God to come and reside inside you. Mm -hmm. Let's suppose there are four members in your family. Mm -hmm. Each one of you is a temple of God. Mm -hmm. When the four of you come together, mm -hmm. all of you, all the four of you are lively stones fit together for the temple of God to be made in the midst of you and the Lord God will be in the midst of you. They when he's in the midst of you, which plague can come? Yes. Which plague can come? Yes. Nothing can come All because he, the Lord God, like a pillar of fire in the midst of you, will keep you from all evil. In Psalms 91 it is written, oh, no. even the plague of terror that flies in the night will not come near you. Yes. Nothing! Oh. If the Lord God is in the midst of you. The counsel of the Lord comes to you right now, my dearly beloved brothers and sisters, sons and daughters. Yeah. Build up the presence of God in your midst. Mm. Invite me in your midst. Yes. I may come in your midst and sup with you. Oh. I desire to be in the midst of my people. Hey. Behold, I bear in my arms my flesh and my blood. Hey. As I came forth as Melchizedek to give him the bread and the wine. Hey. Behold, I stand and knock on the door. If you will hear my voice and open the door, hey. I will come in and be in your midst oh. and feed you with my flesh and give you my blood to drink. Even your little newborn baby will not be harmed. Oh. Thank you, wonderful. Lord Jesus. Uh -huh. I am telling you what I am seeing right now. The Lord Jesus comes into a family. And he sees a newborn baby in the lap of the mother. And then the mother carries the baby on the right shoulder. And the baby looks at the face of the Lord Jesus. There is so much of amazement and wonderment on the face of the baby looking at the glory face of the Lord Jesus. The Lord dips his finger in the blood and puts it a small drop on the lips of the baby. Ah. He said, in his word, for such is the kingdom of God. Yeah. Lift up our holy hands and give glory and thanks to the living God. Oh. How good he is. How wonderful he is. Oh. He cares for you more than you care for yourselves. Fear not, oh you little flock. Yeah. Fear not. Lord God 
in the midst of you yeah. will keep you away from all your enemies ah. will save you from your enemies the destroyers oh evil plague will come within the borders of your house blessed is the man who makes the lord his god mm. come on lift up your hands mm. just bless his holy name for a moment right now yep. i ask all of you to kneel down right now yep. message is not over yet yep. lift up your holy hands and bless his holy name ah. and open your mouth and give praise and glory to him yep. how good he is how good he is oh. one more time i say unto you fear not o ye of little faith o ye little flock fear not for the lord your god will be in the midst of you oh. lord god of abraham Isaac and Jacob will be in your midst. Ah. Do you know why God is called the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob? There is one thing common among these three saints. They constantly set up an altar for God. Whenever they call upon the name of God, they set up an altar for God. When they have an encounter with God, they set up an altar unto God. This is why God feels yoked with them therefore he identifies with them god of abraham Amen. god of isaac yeah. god of jacob yeah. my dearly beloved brothers and sisters sons and daughters yeah. when you set up an altar in your house then the god of abraham isaac and jacob the lord god jesus christ will be enthroned in the midst of you amen, amen. and the fourth blessings and counsel the lord gives you lord god alone has healing medicine for these plagues that will come mm. nothing else can protect us we mask may be good but it cannot protect you mm. you know you're not wearing mask all the time when you're eating you remove the mask what if at that time the virus gets in so what protection is there oh. only the lord god has healing medicine I want to read one scripture for you right now. Yep. Revelation chapter 22 verse 2. In the middle of its street and on either side of the river was the tree of life which bore 12 fruits each tree yielding its fruit every month. The leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. Do you know before the invention of modern medicine all the leaves and the roots that have some plants have medicinal properties and they will squeeze the juice from those leaves and use it as medicine now we read here in revelation chapter 22 verse 2 that the leaves that are found on the tree of life they are healing leaves earlier on i told you god revealed to us that the angels were bear poison eliminating balm in their hand where did that balm come from from these leaves they take these leaves in the squeeze them the juice that comes from the leaves that is the healing balm that is what they will bring for you and only god has that healing medicine yes. final blessing Badam. final counsel mm. fifth counsel is Adam. the blood of the son of god is that medicine mm. nothing else I isaiah 53 verse 5 says by his stripes we are healed the lord jesus christ was whipped 39 times the flesh that was torn from his body and the blood that came from his body that blood is the medicine that blood is the healing so every day when you take the communion of the lord mm. so when you come together as a family mm. when you set up the altar in your family yeah. the end of your times of worship prayer and seeking the lord mm. and take the lord's flesh and his blood i told you earlier Ar he himself will come and give his own flesh his own blood to you do you believe this with all your heart mm. bible tells us the righteous shall live by faith whatever we do we must do by faith believing that he who spoke these words are true and the bible says all his words are yea and amen. amen and only the lord god is true so believe this with all your heart so when this message was given to me mm -hmm. i kept it faithfully waiting for the right time to share this message earlier on i told you that on march 14 2020 we had conducted the ground breaking ceremony and stone laying for our future building and many of our dear minister friends came from many different parts of the world and one of them is our good friend my very dear best friend pastor joseph sweet from lancaster california and i shared this message with him that a worse than corona virus was coming next he was shaken and a little while later 
it showed me a prophecy that an American prophet of God had prophesied in the year 2012. And that prophecy confirmed this word of revelation that I received from the Lord. There lived a wonderful man of God in the U.S. called John Paul Judson. We once ministered together in the state of Alabama in the U.S. He was much older than me, but I saw in him a great respect he had for others. That is the true sign of sainthood and maturity in the things of God. So in 2012, he received this prophecy from God. This is what he says. The Lord told me there would be a pandemic that came. This is in 2012. Only now the World Health Organization calls coronavirus a pandemic. From 2012 till now, there's been no plagues anywhere in the world. You may think now that the statement that I made is incorrect because there were plagues in Africa. You are absolutely right and neither am I wrong because pandemic is something worldwide. A plague is just in one region. Why the World Health Organization did not call the coronavirus a pandemic because it was first only contained within China. Even when it spread in some places in Asia, World Health Organization still call it a plague. But when it spread worldwide, then only they label it a pandemic. The Lord told me there would be a pandemic that came. But the first one would prove to be little but fear. Isn't that what is happening now? Look at everywhere. People are more fearful than the very virus itself. But the second one that comes would be serious. So here God revealed to him of two pandemic that was coming. And the second one will be more serious than the first. Pastor Joseph Switch sent me this prophecy and said this is a confirmation to the word that you receive from the Lord that a worse than coronavirus is coming. So, what's all this showing us? I want you to read some scriptures now. Please turn your Bible to the book of Habakkuk, right. chapter 3, and we will read verses 3 to 6. God came from Thurman, the Holy One from Mount Paran. Selah, His glory covered the heavens, and the earth was full of His praise. His brightness was like the light. He had rays flashing from his hand and there his power was hidden. Please note verse 5. Before him went pestilence and fever followed at his feet. I am reading from the New King James Version Bible. It says, before him went pestilence and fever followed at his feet. What is the initial sign of this coronavirus? Oh. Symptoms are fever. E. High fever. And the next worst one that is coming is also high fever. Mm -hmm. So what does this show? God is walking the land. Ah. It's because the lion has lifted up and going after its prey. There's a scripture in Psalms that says like this. Mm -hmm. Let the Lord arise Come. and his enemies be scattered. Mm -hmm. All the enemies of the cross, all the enemies against the commandments of God, they will be scattered. Our verse 6 says, huh? he stood and measured the earth. He looked and startled the nations and the everlasting mountains were scattered. The perpetual hills bowed. His ways are everlasting. So what does this show? The kingdom of God is coming. All things will be shaken in the heavens and in the earth. What, so what must we do? Only one thing. Mm. Turn your Bible to Revelation chapter 14 mm. and read verse 6 and 7. Ah. Then I saw another angel flying in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach to those who dwell on the earth, to every nation, tribe, tongue and people, saying with a loud voice, Fear God! And give glory to him for the hour of his judgment has come. Never. And worship him who made the heaven and the earth, the sea and the springs of water. Mm. Therefore, what should we do? Fear God. My dearly beloved brothers and sisters, sons and daughters, mm. the time has now come. And all should fear the true living God, mm. the true creator. Ah. Not worship the creation, mm. not worshipping the hosts of heaven. What? Worship the maker, the do. true living God. Mm. And who is that true living God? In we'll the... read one last scripture. Okay. Turn your Bibles with me to First John chapter 5 and the verse 20. That was the very voice that I heard when the Lord came to meet me, when he showed himself 
that he is the true living God. On 1st June 1978, I heard the voice of God saying, What voice? What sound? This is the true living God. He is Jesus Christ. He is the true living God. Eternal life is only found in Him, not in anything else. We are going to pray right now. I ask everybody to bow your hearts and your heads right now. My dearly beloved sons and daughters, even all those who are afar watching this program and all those who will watch this program hereafter on the social media do you believe this message do you want to believe on the son of the living god this is eternal life he is the true living god the lord jesus christ is the true living god and there is no other name in heaven or earth or anywhere else except the name of jesus whereby you can be saved if you have never accepted the lord jesus christ as your savior do you want to accept him right now lift your right hand and you put on your heart right now if you truly want to be saved from all your sins even if you are a traditional christian today repent from all your evil ways the blood of the lord jesus will be sprinkled upon you right now and your name will be truly written in the book of life now repeat this prayer after me dear lord jesus i believe that you are the true living god I believe the words that were spoken from your word. I repent of my evil ways right now. Lord Jesus, I believe you died for my sins. I believe that you arose from the dead for my sins. Thank you for dying for me. Lord Jesus, I welcome you into my life right now. Come Lord Jesus. I receive you and accept you. as my lord and savior from this day onward i will worship no other gods i will only follow you thank you lord jesus for coming into my life amen now i will pray a prayer of blessing for you lord i lift up your rod and i bless your people right now amen. thank you for forgiving them of all their sins amen. thank you for sprinkling your clean water upon them oh. thank you for sprinkling your blood upon them amen. thank you for giving them eternal life right now amen. thank you for breaking every bondage of sin over their lives amen. and in the name of the lord jesus come on every generational curses be broken amen. over their lives right now in the name of the lord jesus amen. i come on every chains of bondage just be broken right now in the name of the lord jesus hey. i command every long suffering plagues and diseases and sicknesses in their bodies be heal right now hey. in the name of the lord jesus hey. in the name of the lord jesus That's send right. forth your word to the heavens and heal the nations hmm. spare your people lord hey. be merciful hey. my dearly beloved sons and daughters brothers and sisters one of the reason for the outbreak of this corona virus is the cry of the blood of the innocent that has been going up to god for year virus that started in china now taking on a very vigorous look and facing towards europe and the north america you may have heard of this man of god 
in the US called Chuck Pierce. September last year when the word of the Lord came to this man of God Chuck Pierce, Lord told him a pandemic is going to break out in this world before the end of the year 2019. Now at that time in September 2019 there was no sign of any plague, any problem. The sign of a virus breaking out was only reported on December 31st 2019 in China. Before that the Lord spoke to his prophet a pandemic is going to break out. Lord told him last till Passover of 2020. 20 the first part of the prophecy came to pass. Definitely the second part will also come to pass. What I see now is this. I see the lion of the Lord lifting up his foot and stamping that virus under his feet. Totally stamping under his feet. Put it under his feet. Meaning he is keeping it under control but not totally eradicating it. Now why? that we need to find out why. Now do, on the 20th of February 2020 and as I was waiting on the Lord, I was taken before His holy presence in the heavenly realm. As I was waiting, I was caught up to the heavenly realm. As, as soon as I came and stood before the Lord Jesus, he said me and he said, Father God wants to stop. You have an important message to carry back. Be Come with me now. We were transported to the place where the Father God When I came and stood before the presence of the Father God a Huge mountainous region Beautifully covered with snow And the summit of the mountain is always covered with clouds Now I'm, like I told you earlier In 2015 was the first time I saw that place Each time I come there, I recognize that place To stand before the Almighty God is not an easy thing While we were standing and looking at the mountain From the cloud that was on the summit Came three lightning and thunders Loud splitting thunders now, Happened three times Things came down and From the summit of the mountain The form of the Father God came and stood before me I didn't see the face but The cloud, it was a form of a cloud It's exactly how the children of Israel saw in the Old Testament In Exodus chapter 33 we read And the prophet Moses goes into the tabernacle to talk with God a Pillar of cloud comes and stands at the entrance to the tabernacle so when the form of the father God came and stood before me and these are the things that he spoke so now I'm going to tell you exactly as how I receive it from the father God now the great wind is going to sweep all over the world when he spoke the word wind it was made to for me to know this another great wind worse than coronavirus pandemic is going to sweep this whole world world is shaken with fear and trembling because of coronavirus of the lord came to say another worse than coronavirus is going to come when that comes will make this coronavirus look like child's play when this great wind comes it will stink people like a hornet stinger when a hornet stings a person your person feels hot with fire like sensation and swelling like boils appear on their bodies. When this wind stings a person, that person will feel hot like fire over them, will rise above 100 degrees Fahrenheit, above 38 degrees centigrade. The feelings will be hot like fire burning all over their body. Fever will shoot up in their bodies. More than 100 degrees. And boils will develop all over their faces and bodies, especially in the chest area. These are the physical symptoms when this virus stings. The doctors and scientists will be baffled and perplexed at not being able to discover at all any medicine or vaccine for this scientific report about this coronavirus still trying to understand the dna of this virus and they say a vaccine will still is still a long time away so there's no medicine there's no vaccine by the time they claim that they have found something this Hornet will come to stink. Oh. The doctors and the scientists will not be able to discover any way how this virus works and they will not be able to discover any medicine 
of vaccine. In the I now remember something I heard the late prophet of God Neville Johnson say something. A few years ago the Lord revealed to him plagues will appear in the last days and their mutations will be so different that doctors will not be able to understand how they work. DNA structure in the virus will mutate itself. And the latest medical scientific report say similar thing about the coronavirus. Some worst thing will come next. The worst, the plague that is going to come. Its strain will be similar to the present COVID-19 coronavirus. Perhaps you may have seen pictures of how the virus looks like. This, the virus that's going to come. Its strain will look a little similar to that. There will be something different. There will be a lot of stinches all around that virus strain. What? Maybe you have played throwing darts. People go for some clubs while the drinks are being made. They'll take a dart and throw. But if it accidentally falls on that sharp needle will prick you and it will be very painful. This new virus is like, it's not just a virus that will stick on into your skin. Like a hornet tincture, it will begin to stinch all over the body. I will now describe to you what the Holy Spirit is showing me in a vision now. You know, when a hornet stings you, its tincture is plucked into or stick into the skin. releases the poison and this virus enters into a person's body especially flowing in their bloodstream the stinges that are all over the virus strain to stink on the blood vessels and the poison is released into the bloodstream that will cause great amount of fatalities many governments of this world have done a very good thing today by shutting down their nations Many governments are locking down their nations to protect their people from being bitten by this virus. Even when such practices are followed next time, will not be controllable. Like a lion that goes out to seek its prey, go out to seek its prey. Of a truth I tell you, he will put on his battle garment. As it is written in Isaiah chapter 63, yes. to execute vengeance. Ah. The lion of the tribe of Judah will go forth after its prey. Before the coming of the Lord Jesus, before the coming of the kingdom of God in this world. Everything that can be shaken will be shaken. Holy scripture says. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 26. Yeah. One more time. One more time. One more time. Yeah. They will shake the heavens and the earth. No, no. Everything that can be shaken will be shaken. Uh, Therefore the word of the Lord says one thing. Uh, strengthen the things that remain. Yeah. On January 1st. 2020. The message that the Lord gave for this year is prepare. Prepare. Year is appointed for you to prepare. Now if you look around, the government him, themselves are giving you paid leave. Everybody is locked down staying at home. Locked down for 21 days. And in many other nations it's about 14 to 21 days. It may last longer. Flights have been cancelled. Yeah. Many schools have been closed. Eh? Many governments have issued orders that even places of religious gatherings should be avoided or closed. Some I tell you a truth. This was shown to me in a heavenly vision for about six months. Ah. And it will be such measures will last till then. Yep. So what is this? Ah. To you prepare. Giving, giving us a year appointed a year for us to prepare. To prepare what? Yep. Return, as it is written in Hebrews chapter 12. Yep. Turn the things that remain. Mm. Strengthen your faith. Mm. Because from 2021 20, onwards, yeah. 
bad things are going to come. To be very accurate to say to you, we received this word on December 19th, 2019. While I was waiting to preach at our monthly prayer fasting prayer meeting, while the worship was going on, and the word of the Lord came unto me. Prepare. 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 2020 is the year of preparation. Now this was way before there was any sign of this coronavirus. The world only heard of this virus on 31st December. Came on 19th December 2019. Year has been appointed for you. Prepare for what is going to come from 2021 onwards. Nations have locked down. Families are staying at home. Forced to stay at home. Golden opportunity for families to pray together. God is giving you an appointed time. The entire family to be strengthened in their faith. If you will fail to make use of this season of grace, knows if you will be able to stand during times of adversity. The Lord Jesus said in Matthew chapter 24, the elect will not be able to stand during the time of tribulation. And for their sake, he will shorten the time. So if the elect themselves are not able to withstand, how about ordinary believers? So one more time, I lovingly say to you, do not despise this time and season of grace that God has so graciously appointed for you. Your entire family grow in faith. Let your whole family grow in the spirit. Your whole family grow in the full stature of the Lord Jesus Christ. Dearly beloved sons and daughters, yeah. let this be your goal for 2020. Go to the full stature of the Lord Jesus Christ.